What's going on guys? My name is Patrick Bacon and you're watching the one and only Bacon's Drinks channel here on YouTube. And today we are finally getting into the spring cocktail series. I just got done with the Tiki series that I dubbed the Tropical Escape series. So for you guys that like tropical cocktails and Tiki cocktails, be sure to check that out on my channel's main page. It's under the Tiki playlist and hopefully you guys will really enjoy that. As for the remainder of the month of April, we will be focusing on spring cocktails. And I got a lot of very refreshing spring sippers for you guys. And I'm also going to be rolling out some movie themed and movie inspired cocktails. Some of actually are my own original creations. So I'm really excited about that. I'm a huge movie nerd, a huge movie buff. I figure, you know, why not combine the two? And on those episodes, we're going to be focusing mainly just on cocktails and movies. So if you like cocktails and movies, be sure to tune in for those. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So we're going to be making the classic Paloma cocktail today. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know what that is. If you don't, it's basically like a margarita with grapefruit added in. I think they're absolutely delicious because I love grapefruit. And as far as the history is concerned, we actually don't know too much about it. What we do know is that the Paloma originated in Mexico and it was introduced to the U.S. consumer base via a bartender named Evan Harrison and he published the Paloma recipe in a pamphlet that he called Popular Cocktails of the Rio Grande. Now in today's video, I'm going to make you guys two variations of the Paloma cocktail. The first one is going to be the more kind of classic way with grapefruit soda. And then the second is going to be more of kind of a fresh uh, craft approach. We're going to be using fresh grapefruit juice for that one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into making the cocktail. So we're going to be doing everything in the shaker tin today. We're going to go ahead and start with three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Guys, always use fresh squeezed juices. Please stop using that crap in a bottle. I'm part of some cocktail uh, Facebook groups and I see people still using that stuff in the squeeze bottle. That's not, that's not real. No, no one knows what that stuff is and that is not, tastes nothing like fresh lime juice. So please use fresh squeezed juices when you can. All right, now we're gonna do a scant quarter of an ounce of just regular old simple syrup. So most of the time, whenever you're making a Paloma and you're using grapefruit soda, the grapefruit soda itself will be more than enough to sweeten the cocktail. Sometimes it has too much sugar, you could argue, but the grapefruit soda I'm using today is a very, it's an organic grapefruit soda that I got from Whole Foods and it's very, very tart. So I just added an extra pop of sugar today just so we could achieve that perfect balance. All right, and then we're gonna do one and a half ounces of tequila. I'm using Terramana Reposado, but you can use Blanco de Tequila, you can use Reposado, you can use Anejo, you can use any that you want. I just prefer using a Reposado. All right. And that's pretty much it for the body of the cocktail. Pretty easy, three ingredients. And we're gonna be serving this in an old fashioned glass, a double old fashioned glass to be exact. And we're gonna fill this full of ice cubes because we're gonna be straining this over ice today. All right, that looks about good. And we're gonna put ice cubes as opposed to crushed ice inside the shaker tin as well. I'm gonna put about three kind of larger ice, ice cubes, ice shards like this. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get to shaking. So we're gonna shake about eight to 10 seconds. Get those ingredients nice, chilled, and diluted. But we don't wanna shake too long, because if you shake too long, um, there would be too much dilution, and we're going to be adding a lot of a dilution with that grapefruit soda. So we're actually going to be straining. I'm actually going to double strain today. And we're going to strain right over the ice. All right. All right. All right. That should be about good. So now we're going to top it up with some grapefruit soda. I'm using the Whole Foods brand of grapefruit soda today, and it is absolutely my favorite brand of grapefruit soda for Paloma. Now, a lot of people will use uh, Squirt. Some people will use Ting. 
but in my opinion, this is the best grapefruit soda to use in Palomas because it's an organic grapefruit soda and it tastes very much like grapefruit. I know that should be an obvious thing, but like other grapefruit sodas like Ting and Squirt are actually more of like sugary drinks and they're not as tart and as grapefruit tasting as this particular soda. So that's why I love this one so much because it just adds such a freshness to the cocktail that sodas that most other sodas don't deliver in my opinion. All right, now it's time for our garnish. I'm gonna garnish today with a massive steroid infused grapefruit wheel. I'm gonna try to slide it in or back behind the ice just like so. All right, and there you have it guys, the Paloma cocktail. All right, let's go ahead and give this version a sip just real quick. Definitely smells of grapefruit. Man, so that is unbelievably refreshing. I mean, you got both lime juice and grapefruit in there, which really brightens up the drink. You got that little bit of sugar in there that just kind of balances everything out. I'm definitely getting the tequila showing through there but all of it together just blends so well. We already know tequila and lime go together and tequila goes even better with lime and grapefruit. So that is an absolutely great and super refreshing drink. And there you have it guys, the Paloma. All right guys, for the next variation, instead of grapefruit soda this time, we're gonna be mimicking grapefruit soda of sorts with fresh grapefruit juice, soda water, and simple syrup. So let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna be building this one in a shaker tin, just like last time. And we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And this time we're going to pour a full half ounce of simple syrup. So remember, there's gonna be no sugar coming from the grapefruit soda like in the last one. So if you like your drink sweet, you may want to do a little over a half ounce. All right, and then we're going to do one and a half ounces of tequila. All right. Perfect. All right, just like last time, we're going to fill our tin up with about three kind of larger ice cubes. See what I got here. All right, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and get our glass ready. We're gonna shake and then we're gonna strain like last time directly into the glass, only this time we're not gonna uh, strain it over ice. And I'll get to that in a second. All right guys, let's go ahead and give it a good shake. That's good. And we're going to go ahead and double strain into our old fashioned glass. All right. Just like that. All right, perfect. All right guys, so here's where this variation gets a little different. We're gonna pour about two ounces of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice into our glass. And if you like grapefruit, you can always do more. And then we're gonna add a little bit of effervescence, a little bit of bubbly with our club soda. I can do just a splash. You don't wanna do too much uh, because it'll start to taste like club soda and will over dilute the drink. All right, then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir just to kind of incorporate our ingredients. And now we're gonna fill the rest of the way up with pebble ice. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fill almost all the way up to the top. All right. All right, I'm gonna put a touch more grapefruit in there. All right. All right guys, now it's time to garnish. And this time I have a grapefruit wedge like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it kind of long ways down into it like that. And it's gonna stop just right about there. So there we go. There we have it. The second Paloma variation made with fresh grapefruit juice. Let's go ahead and give it a try. 
Looks good. It's a lot lighter in color uh, than the last one. So that's basically spring and summer in a glass right there. That is so good. The added fresh grapefruit juice just takes the freshness and vibrancy of the drink just over the top. Honestly, though, it does taste very similar, surprisingly similar, to the first variation. I think that goes to the credit of that organic uh, grapefruit soda from Whole Foods. That's how good that stuff is. It tastes so much like fresh grapefruit juice. It's honestly crazy. So if you wanted to, and you didn't want to go through the hassle of buying soda water separately and fresh squeezing the grapefruit juice, you could probably just get away with uh, fresh lime juice, tequila, and that grapefruit soda, honestly, if you really wanted to. But yeah, if you can spare the extra effort, this variation is amazing too. It's just, I know I've said it a thousand times, but it's just so unbelievably fresh, it's crazy. But there you have it guys, two Paloma variations. Uh, try them both, decide which one you like. They're both amazing. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you really enjoyed. If you like my content, which I really hope you do, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my content in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you can, please leave a comment uh, to get that algorithm going. If you have any questions about the recipes, the ingredients, the drinks, or any feedback whatsoever, uh, any of it's greatly appreciated. I'm very active. I can answer comments. It's no problem. Thank you so much to everyone that's been supporting me thus far. Each one of my videos has actually gotten more views than I expected, and it's just been amazing. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.